yeah, bam it again. I was like, knock it up another notch. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. It is currently Tuesday afternoon. I'm heading off to my training session with the Sabadell B team. This morning, I didn't do too much at all. I was doing a bit of editing, chilling out. No gym session today. I'm taking the day off from the gym unless I go with a lawn later where I'll do football tennis and stuff like that, but not working out. I'm going to go tomorrow to do a leg session or that might be Thursday, it depends what day I get off. If I don't have a day off tomorrow, then I'll do a back session instead. So I've got the next couple of days planned out. This walk to training is about 15, 20 minutes. How am I feeling before this session? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, especially after yesterday's training where I scored five goals in this like 2v2 drill. I think I was top goal scorer, not 100% sure but I thought I did very, very well. So I'm definitely feeling confident going into this session and just chilled out. That's how I like to be. I remember someone commented on a video not so long ago saying I should treat every opportunity like my last so that I go in there 100%. And if I don't do that, then I'm going in with the wrong mindset. But I think honestly, it depends on what type of person you are, what type of player you are. Some players are confidence players. If they're not confident, they're not going to perform. So that's how they thrive. For me, how I thrive is just being chilled out, relaxed, enjoying the football, enjoying the time with the team, friends. And that's where I truly think I perform best. So it's about finding out what works for you and then sticking with that. Because if you try and change your mindset because somebody else told you to, then you're not being yourself on the field. And it's so important to be yourself and express yourself, especially in trials like these ones. So I don't know what the plan is today. Yesterday, the beginning, the warm up was like fitness stuff and I was dead. Everyone else was dead as well, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm heading to the training field now. Again, I'll show you the change room. I just can't stop showing it to you. It's so sick. The kit laid out. Oh, it's so fresh, man. So we'll head there now and then I'll catch you guys probably after the session. Don't see anybody. I don't know if training's on or not. This door is always open. Look at that, Valencia. I think that was the B team of Valencia. But they're not here now. Let's see if the players are. I'm gonna have to shut this off for a sec. Okay, I'm not just super weak. I don't think training's on. And I have no idea why. This is the second time this has happened. Alright, let's just wait outside. Usually there's someone out here that I can ask. Let's wait and see. Well, I've been out here for about 10 minutes. I've not seen one person walk through that gate. And I've not seen one person who is wearing a Sabadell jersey that works here. This is frustrating. I guess this is part of the thing about being in a foreign country. I've said it before, I'm not in the WhatsApp group. I don't speak the language, but when I spoke to someone yesterday after the session, he said, yes, they train tomorrow. So I guess the plan was that they were going to train tomorrow, but yesterday was a little bit intense. It wasn't too bad, but I assume they just decided to give the guys a day off today and then train Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then play Sunday, something like that. I have no idea. I don't know. I wanted to train, man. I'm gonna go do individual training if this isn't on, but far out. No, doesn't look like it's on. I'm gonna go walk up to the Olympia, see if there's any movements around there. It's very frustrating, man. Very, very frustrating, but this is part of the risk that I take being in a foreign country. It's part of the deal, isn't it? Well, this is what the Olympia is looking like. Nobody up here. Well, there's a team training over there, but this is the field we train on the main field and nobody's here, so probably just gonna head back home. All right, one last check at the stadium and then I'm heading home, man. I'm just, I'm just praying somebody's there to at least tell me what's going on, but who knows, man, who knows? I think the biggest thing from this is to take away the benefits in life. My whole thing is always look at the benefits, try to avoid the negatives. So the benefits of not having a training session with the B team today, number one, it means I can spend a lot of time analyzing Neymar and create that video and learn from it myself. And then on top of that, I'll do my own individual training and hopefully Alon will come to the tennis court with me and play some football tennis. So it's just about finding the benefits, man. In life, you can't be dwelling on things, anything. You can't dwell on it. Because if I were to dwell on not having a training session today, what am I gonna do, just sit at home and do nothing? No, 
Find the benefits and then fix it. Make today better and just improve. That's all it is. All right, the time you guys haven't seen me, I've spent editing. What is gone? Uh, it's gone? No, it's still there. What is that doing? Now I need a nutritious snack and what better? One of you guys actually, actually this is all from you. I didn't even think of this stuff. We got peanut butter with banana on toast and then peanut butter, j raspberry jam on toast. Now that's a quality snack. I'm going to have that and then get on with some match analysis of Neymar. I can't wait. And this, this is amazing. This is like my favorite food ever. I had this once, the peanut butter and banana. If you haven't had it before, man, so good, so good. Got my pre-gym feed. I've got chicken, no idea what chicken is. Veggies, rice, everything that I need set to go. Alon, are you coming to the gym? Your body's not feeling it. That's completely understandable. Sometimes you just gotta listen to your body. All those other times you came though because you hung out with your friends, that's when those are excuses. But today I understand you. I understand. Because when your body's not feeling it and then you push yourself, that's when he might get injured or something like that. So today is understandable. I'll let you off the hook today, man. <laughs> It's currently 9.26, I'm heading to the gym by myself because Alon's at home. I should get 45 minutes to an hour done up here. I'm just hammering out first touch, still, still, still. Making sure that when I'm controlling the ball, I get it on the ground as quick as possible. Let's get it. And how I'm going to make sure that I keep this session interesting for me, but also continue to push myself, is I'm going to set small challenges. So for example, when I do the juggling against the ball, I'll try and get 100. If that's too easy, I'll try and get 200, etc., etc. I finish up here I just want to say that last drill was a killer that's a tough one a lot of this training you don't really get to see some drills I do for like a minute because I think it might be something good for example sometimes I'll just kick it up in the air control and then continue to juggle I'm not gonna show you that other things I think it might be a good drill to work on then it's not but yeah man this is amazing like I've just while I'm training I sort of think about things in the back of my head and it's like I'm in this beautiful city and you never know where I'll be in two days, a week, two weeks, a month. It's going to be exciting. And it's definitely going to be a challenge and it's something I'm looking forward to. But all I can really do is do my best, whether, whether it's a trial, a training session, anything like that, and try to make the best decisions possible in order to get that pro contract or help me 
along the road to get that pro contract. I'm ready for my session with the Sabadell Bay team tomorrow. I'm pumped for that because by the end of this week, I'll find out what the coach really thinks of me, whether he wants me to stay, whether he wants me to continue my trial after January. I just don't know what's going to happen and it's going to be a very interesting chat. But anyway, 1020, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to join the journey. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.